Hey guys, David Fine from Keys Mods here. We're here in sunny South Florida. It's early February, Florida. Um, this is our backyard. We live in Broward County in Coconut Creek and we've got a red bay tree in our backyard that has got complete infestation of some kind of bug. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna show you what this is all about. I think you're gonna be interested. Check this out. Red bay tree is almost completely defoliated. That's crazy. What the heck is going on? You gotta come over here and check it out. Something. It's probably some kind of little moth. Any fish? Maybe not. So, my red bay is just being decimated. You can actually see almost completely right through it. There's hardly any leaves left on this thing, man. Wow. <sighs> Whoa. Oh, dude. Caterpillars. Okay, guys, check this out. I don't know if you can see this. But there are caterpillars dangling from silk strands everywhere here. <laughs> Look at the little guy dangling from a silk strand. So when I messed, when I went up and reached up and grabbed that branch, all these little caterpillars just bungee jumped down on their little silk strands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple of these guys in and uh, see if I can identify them. Oh yeah, you can see on my palm frond here, underneath the tree, you can see all the frass pellets. They are just tearing this tree up. Oh, look at all the cocoons. Now that's, that's what I'm talking about. Look at the cocoons, guys. Check this out. How, what a cool cocoon. They make like a little silk webbing housing thing going on here. That is weird. I'm not quite seeing anything like that. Well, you know what that is. <laughs> that's a, uh, right there, that's Asbolus capucinus. That was a monk caterpillar, monk butterfly caterpillar that got Looks like it got attacked by some kind of parasite, but wow, guys, look look at the intricacy of the webbing on that cocoon. How cool is that? Yeah, yeah they're emerging too. There's this guy here is hatched out already of his chrysalis. Oh, big fish. There's all kinds of life going on out here. Yeah, guys, th these cocoons, are super cool. They they hang themselves off of a little piece of thread, silk thread, from a leaf, and they make a, a silk webbing housing for their cocoon or for their chrysalis. That is way cool. This guy's this guy's still in there. Yeah, that guy's still in there. Okay, he looks like he might emerge soon, so I'll take him in too. Oh, these guys are trying to climb out. Get in there. We are going to do a wacky worms video out of y'all. I wonder how badly these guys are going to decimate this tree. I mean, look at all the caterpillars. Okay, so I need to find, dude, there are cocoons everywhere in here. So guys, whenever there is an infestation of a certain type of insect, you can be certain that parasites will not be far behind. So 
right inside of this cocoon, it looks like there's uh, one of the chrysalids of the, of the little moths, but also inside of this cocoon is a tachinid fly, which probably went through its entire life cycle inside of that inside of that one larva and now that tachinid fly pupa has pushed itself out and it's probably going to emerge here <laughs> pretty soon it is a brutal world i don't like tachinid flies go be fish food wow let's see oh yeah here we go here we go guys there are the guilty culprits right there and you can see they are tearing up my red bay tearing it up guys I mean there's they're hanging from silk everywhere I mean they're all in my face there are little chrysalids everywhere dude crazy oh look at them all they're all they're all pupating right on the side of this tree tree trunk of the red bay tree. Look at them all, guys. How crazy is that? That's a massive infestation. Absolutely unbelievable. Look at this, guys. Look at all of the caterpillars and chrysalis of this little moth. All right, guys, so I got a few of the leaves that are left on my tree and got them in a container for these little moth caterpillars. And um, we're gonna raise these guys out. Like this guy right here, he does not have far to go before he turns into a chrysalis. So. I'm thinking a couple days, and I actually got a couple chrysalis already in there, so we are definitely, definitely gonna find out what these guys are, for sure. And these guys are trying to escape. And whenever you're out in South Florida in nature, you never know what you're gonna find, because look what I got. Right in my backyard, down by the water. Um, yeah, that's kind of scary looking. <laughs> Turns out, uh, an iguana, which are an exotic, uh, kind of invasive exotic pest down here in South Florida, uh, very common in our South Florida canal banks and stuff. Uh, one of them had died and we saw a ton of vultures out here tearing it up. So I think this is what's left over. But I think, I, I never knew how crazy sharp iguana teeth are. Look at those teeth, man. That's sick, man. <laughs> That is crazy. Don't mess with iguanas. All right, let's bring these guys inside and uh, set them up in a container so we can raise them and see how they turn out. Hey guys, the moth turned out to be a webworm moth, the Bumilia webworm moth, Urodus parvula. This thing is decimating our tree. It, it's, a, it's actually a fairly common moth throughout the southeast. United States and it has it's polyphagus has a whole variety of different things that it eats but red bay is obviously one of them uh, guys we're gonna raise these guys out and get show you some adults and it'll be a wacky one video soon so check that out coming soon subscribe to the channel uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the video and uh, share us with your friends so we got a great website www.keysmods.com and we are dedicated to documenting as much of the natural wonders in the world of butterflies and moths in South Florida as possible. So until next time, let's get out there, enjoy South Florida.